While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat Is suffocating I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Long time no see I feel like I say that way too often in my videos So I apologize But I'm back for a Halloween tutorial um, so today I'm going to be doing a mermaid look and the first thing I did is put on a wig cap and you can use this to um, create the scales on your face so um, a lot of people like to use fishnet like stockings but I found that um, a wig cap would be much easier but first I just went ahead and used a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and I pretty much put that on the spots where I was going to put the scales so um, and I only did this just so the colors could be a little bit more vibrant because we are going to be using like blues and purples and greens and stuff so I'm going to be using these two blue shades right here I know I pointed at that pink shade as well but I'm not going to be using that I'm just going to use the two blue ones so I'm just going to put this the wig cap over my face and as you see it was a little hard a little difficult to see so I just grabbed some scissors and kind of cut um, little holes in it and then I kind of positioned it where I wanted it to. So on this part, you're just going to want to get a big brush and kind of just stamp um, the eyeshadows on your face. Um, you're not going to want to move the, the wig cap or kind of stretch it because when you're stretching it, um, it, it like kind of messes up the pattern. So, um, and on this part, um, it's kind of like all up to you what, where you want to put your colors. So I just put the lightest shade on my, kind of like where I would contour is where I put the scales. But you are more than welcome to do this like all over your face or, you know, however you want it to be. Um, so this is how it turned out. I really liked how it turned out. Um, so I guess if you have like spots that you, you wanted to cover, you could also just put the wig cap back on and kind of do more scales. Um, and next I just went in with that, you know, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and put that all over my lids. So we can have a good base for all, all of our eyeshadows. Um, I just used a white shadow to set it and then I used a, a lightish, lightish blue shade to um, kind of use it as my transition shade. And I just used a big fluffy brush for this. And then I used a crease brush and then I used kind of a little bit darker shade um, of a blue kind of like a turquoise color maybe and I put that on my inner corners and my outer corners and then I'm gonna take a um, just a regular blue shade I wish I could have shown you guys the shades of this but the BH cosmetics palette um, doesn't have any names on their eyeshadow so it was, I kind of have to like describe them to you but it's just a blue shade a little bit darker than what you've been using and put that on your outer corner and inner corner as well and then of course after you put on um, put on a shade of blue <laughs> you're just gonna want to blend that out with a big fluffy brush so I just went ahead and did that two times just to, just to kind of make it a little bit more intense so you can keep going and make it as intense as you want it to and then I used uh, just a tiny bit of black and I used that um, on the outer corners just to kind of define it a little bit because I want it to be like just a little bit smoky and then of course blend it out. Alright so you guys know I had to use glitter in my video um, so I'm going to use the glitter glue Too Fa by Too Faced and then the glitter I'm using is by NYX and these are pretty cheap probably about three or four bucks so super affordable um i know nyx has a glitter primer as well but every time i go to ulta they're always sold out so that's why i had to do Too Faced. but um i'm just gonna dab that on with my fingers um i felt like the finger wasn't my finger wasn't getting enough glitter um, to put on my eyelid, so that's why I went ahead and just used a brush. So, uh, used a brush. So I would suggest just using a brush to put the glitter on. And then after that, I just kind of blended a little bit. And then for my lower lash line, I just went ahead and used the same shades that I used on the top. And you're gonna want to um, kind of make this super dramatic. I went super low with it. I even went in with a big fluffy brush um, to kind of blow it out a little bit. And then for 
this eyeliner, I got super inspired by um, by this post. I'll have her Instagram listed down below, but I got super inspired by her look, so that's kind of why I wanted to do a mermaid look. So on the outer corners and inner corners, I used a white eyeliner to put this on. I used the NYX one, but I honestly really didn't like it. Maybe because mine was super old, but it just didn't give me the... Oh, like a straight line that I wanted it to so um, next after that I used a liquid liner to put it kind of like in between those eyeliners and kind of make them blend together um, and then after that I used an eyelash glue to put on my sequence and the sequence that I used is actually for Michaels um, I'm not sure if it's like really for your face so just be careful um, and if you are going to do this, I wouldn't suggest using an eyelash glue just because it was really hard to take off um, in the shower. So maybe you could use um, latex glue um, and you could find that at the Halloween store. I'm not sure if you could find it at any craft stores, but I know you could find it at the Halloween store and that would probably be much easier. Um, like I said, because the eyelash glue is really hard to take off my face and my neck. <laughs> so I just kind of went in like... Um, in like two rows um, you can put as much as you want on there and you could even go like above your eyebrow but I felt like this looked good so um, kind of do what you prefer and what's easiest for you and then I went in with the Urban Decay um, I think they're called liners or like they're liquid glitter liners I'm not too sure the um, full name but of course I'll have everything listed down below but I just went in um, in between the scales to kind of put that glitter on there um, just because I like wanted to gl add glitter to everything <laughs> And then for my lips, I, I accidentally didn't record it. Well, I did record it, but I just wasn't in frame. But I just used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Um, and I just pretty much put that all over my lips as my lipstick. And then I used the same Urban Decay glitter on my eyelids just to make them pop just a little bit more and give it a little bit more dimension. And then I grabbed a silver glitter and put that all over my lips. And don't forget to put black on your waterline and your tight line. And then after I got my lip, or got my lips done, no, after I put my lips on, I decided it just needed a little bit more dimension, so I went ahead and used the black eyeliner to line my lips, and then I blended it in with the same shade that I filled my lips in with, and I thought it actually um, gave a pretty good look. So, um, for my shoulders, I just used the same technique. Um, I put the wig cap over my arm, just kind of a uh, mimic. Uh, scales and I really should have went in just a little bit darker of the color just so you can see it better so just beware when you're doing it on your body to just kind of go a little bit of a deeper shade and kind of uh, concentrate that color more um, on the scales so you can see it or other people can see it <laughs> And then for my lashes, I use Vegas Nay, and for my contacts, I use Camo Eyes. I'll have them listed down below if any of you guys are interested. And this actually only took me like five minutes to put both of my contacts in. I was really proud of myself because <laughs> I know last time it was a disaster. So um, before I put on my eyelashes, I just put in my contacts because I knew um, I wasn't probably going to be able to see that well. So I put my contacts in and then I put my lashes on. And then for my eyebrows, I just went in with that blue shade from the electric palette and I just kind of went, uh, put that through my eyebrows real quick. And now for, um, I guess, the fun part. Um, this is where you can get super creative and kind of do what you um, what you want to do. I just put sequins on um, kind of like both sides of my neck. Um, you can extend the 
the sequence like along your neck to kind of mimic gills I guess you could say um, so yeah this is just like a fun part just like kind of do whatever you wanted to do you don't have to do this um, but I thought it kind of gave it a little um, cute touch but yeah I feel like this is a really simple costume that you could just put together real quick and um, kind of put like a little cute outfit with I don't know and then make your hair like super curly I don't know I just thought it would be super cute <laughs> And then I went in with a dark blue shade from, you know, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I used that to put it, put it on my hairline. I should have extended it just a little further back as well because you could kind of still see my hairline so I would suggest maybe um, taking it just a little bit further back. But this is the final look. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and then if any of you ever recreate my video or re recreate this look I would love to see it tag me on Instagram and Twitter I'll have it listed down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Shut my heart